Hello, hello, my amazing creative friends, Oksanza here again, and today we are going to talk about three most common repeat pattern mistakes and how to fix them. I am going to talk about vector repeat pattern designs, but these actually apply to uh, most repeat patterns, no matter of the medium. The only thing that uh, some, of course, they will, might not apply to geometric patterns that you want to create with um, exactly with the same elements that I am uh, going to uh, talk about. Basically, some mistakes that will appear to the that will that can happen in the scattered pa pattern, and this is the pattern composition that you see on top of my. Uh, page here in uh, on top of my uh, presentation here uh, featuring roses. So this is called the scattering pattern. This is not a geometric uh, composition. All right, so let's get started. Uh, the, I receive many, many emails, people asking to um, to tell them, uh, give them a feedback about their repeat patterns. So um, I compiled three most common, common mistakes that I was making myself and I just started designing repeat patterns. So there's not a big problem if you see these mistakes, uh, but sometimes they happen just by, um, it just happens. But uh, if we learn how to have an eye for these mistakes and uh, really look for them, especially in the beginning, over time, it will become a second nature and you will not have to think about them much more. Uh, so uh, let's get started. The first mistake that I often see people make is uh, to have too many instances of instances, excuse me, of the same element. So too many of the same element on the page. And I will show you what I mean in a second. And I will tell you how to fix it. So too many instances of the same element. Uh, here I created a pattern. Uh, this is basically a pattern example that has the the issues that I'm going to talk about and what I mean by the same too many instances so basically you do see these all of these roses if I go into the double click on it so and basically go inside the group uh, probably it would be better to actually ungroup it two times at uh, one time is enough okay oh yeah one more time okay so we ungrouped the uh, pattern and you can see this instance is the same as is this instance, the same as this one, the same as this one. I kept a few of different ones in there, but, and the same as this one. So I just, as many people, what they do, they just place the same instance of the element over and over again, maybe scale it, maybe change color, but to be honest, that will not make a good composition. So this is what I mean by having the same too many instances. And you can see that often happens that they are all the roses basically are and the leaves are all the same direction. And in geometric geometric pattern composition, that might be good. That might be what you want. But in a scattered one, uh, that's not really that does not look good on the composition. OK, so the, how to fix this? To fix this problem, we need to create at least three variations of your elements. They could be based on the same element. So you can have the little bit of a different variation of the same uh, rows. For example, here I created a pattern that I kind of uh, my, my pattern that I previously created. And this is I, the elements are still very similar, but I did create a few variations. So so basically this one, and then I took the rows and create, and just had it have it without leaves. So that creates a little bit different, different group than this type of rows as a new one. And the leaves are also in two different colors. So basically you need to plan your pattern strategically and you need to say, look at these types of elements uh, so that you can create a more interesting composition. All right. So yeah, you can see here that they all look in the same direction. And here they all have look kind of, they all are directed at a little bit of a different angle. So this is the another size, and excuse me, another type of fix for this error, for this mistake is to rotate the elements and vary them in size. So basically create a few variations of patterns 
So this is with the one with not much variation. And this is with more variation, create the variation in size and in the direction. So this will really help to get you start get you started on creating a better composition. All right. The second problem that I often see is that elements are not repeated properly. So I'm going to show you on this pattern. Right away, you can see there are many mistakes here. This is what I meant because I wanted to show you guys. So to see how they are repeated is the best way is, is to create a ginormous circle. I will zoom out so you can see. This is my ginormous circle test. <laughs> Oxine says ginormous circle pattern test. You just create a big circle and you select it and you fill it with your swatch that you created from your pattern. So you click on it and yeah, I'll just show you. So this is it's all filled with white. And if I click on it again, it fills with the pattern. And immediately you can see, immediately you can see that the, the, there are bugs in, the, in there. So this, these leaves are cut off. This leaf is cut off. So I deliberately did that so that you, can, you guys can see. So basically over here, this leaf is cut off and these ones are not repeated properly. And this one, for example, is repeated down and then trimmed. So basically, this is what you get if you do not <laughs> repeat your elements properly on all, all the elements that overlap. Your artboard on all sides, they need to be repeated exactly on the opposite side. Oh, and you need to always test your pattern before posting for sale or emailing to your customer. So yeah, you always need to test your pattern. This is the best test that I found so far, the circle test. Uh, and it works for me very well. Okay, so the third and the third mistake that I often see is blank spots in pattern composition. What do I mean by that? I mean that you arranged some of the elements on the over here, and and sometimes why this happens is that sometimes artists who come from a, a illustration uh, background they and they excuse me and they want to start designing repeat patterns, they think of a rule of thirds and the composition that is that works uh, well with the illustration. And to be honest, in the end, you end up with the composition that oftentimes have these blank spots over here. So what I mean by blank spot is this, for example, this space here. Let me see. So kind of a, over a spot over here and potentially over here might make a good example of a blank spot. So this is not a good composition for repeat pattern, even though sometimes sometimes you might uh, make it a, uh, have it as a good composition for illustration. But for repeat pattern is a different uh, story entirely. And this circle that I just created showed you is basically this is how it repeats here. So you have it here, and then you have it here, here, and here. So you can immediately see that, let's do, for example, 30%, that this is this kind of blank spots, and there is actually one over here, the smaller one. So this will not well work well. You can see them. There you go. So this is basically these kind of issues they will not look good on pattern composition. So that's the last mistake that I wanted to talk to you about today. How to fix it. So the blank spots, how to fix it. Uh, there are two fixes that come to mind immediately is the move elements to fill the blank spots and add smaller elements like leave, leaves or dots to fill the blanks. So if we go back to this composition here. So we, we would what we would do to fix the uh, composition is we would we would kind of move the elements. But again, this again has to be uh, rotated and then adjusted. And I would actually add different elements uh, in there like leaves or smaller flowers. So for example, this one could be here and I could scale it down and I will I would rotate it so that you can fill it up with different um, with different elements. 
and then you would take this one and repeat it exactly over here but in this case yeah that's this was an example of a wrong pattern so i will i fixed it by creating a, to a totally new pattern and you can see here that it does have some smaller spots but this is the type of composition that i wanted with some negative space in between and i filled the um, pattern with the big larger elements and the smaller elements a few versions of uh, the pattern to create a flowy composition like this one which uh, immediately you can see that you do the eye does not really get stuck to one particular element it kind of travels all around on the pattern and this is basically how you uh, fix this uh, third issue which is blank spots in pattern composition all right okay guys so these are top three mistakes we were talking about um if you uh, get in the habit of checking your repeat pattern uh, before uh, posting it for sale or sending it to your customer uh, that you designed pattern for you will be uh, you will have much much better experience uh, with uh, your patterns and uh, you will be more satisfied with the quality of your composition and your patterns will start start selling much better as a result so i'm hopeful i'm really hoping that uh, my tips today on how to fix these issues uh, will help you out will help you out with creating the be better patterns uh, to especially um that we all want our parents to look beautiful and flow better and create beautiful compositions so this is it this is the guide and what i actually went ahead and i went ahead and did a free checklist for you guys to go with this episode and it will it, it you you can follow a link to my blog post below and you can download a free checklist that uh, explains that has a printable version of the three mistakes and how to fix them and also a little checklist to see if you um, hit all of those points and check your repeat pattern to make it flow better and to make the uh, great composition for it so uh, you can download it by going uh, on the link below this video in the description and or below the in the blog post if you're watching on my website and by the way if you are already a subscriber to my new, uh, newsletter you don't have do not have to uh, download it from my website because I will send you the free checklist today after I'm done with this video so that you guys <clears throat> everyone on my email list can have this checklist too and I'm really, really hoping that it will help you guys out. I really would want uh, to have this type of checklist for myself when I was starting out, but there were not, none at that time. So yeah, this is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. And uh, uh, in this, at this point, I want to finish my tutorial portion of this um, video and just wanted to jump into, into the uh, chat and see if I can find uh, any comments from you guys or answer any questions. Uh, let's see. Oh, we do have some friends in the chat today. Hi, Kristen. Hi, Sido. Hi, Tashdar. Hi. <laughs> Hi, guys. I really like it that you are here. I'm so happy to see you. And uh, Kristen says, Hi, Oksana. So glad that I can finally catch uh, one of the, your videos live. Oh, yeah, I'm so happy to, for you uh, to be here. Thank you very much, Kristen. And I saw your videos live recently, and you, you are awesome. I really love your videos. They are very cool. And I recommend everyone to check Kristen out. Um, all right, see the first time I catch a video of you. Hi. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Ciro. I'm hoping that you find uh, my uh, tips uh, about uh, checking your repeat patterns useful. Uh, Tashdar, nice to see you live. <laughs> nice to see you too, guys. I'm always enjoying having you here. Oh my goodness! Yeah. So um, it's been it's been a lot of uh, a lot of work <laughs> recently, as I've been trying to to, to kind of 
um, implement a few things that I found uh, online. A, a few of them are in pattern design, but a lot other others are a lot of creative running a creative business. So I'm hoping to share uh, some feedback of some kind of results of what I do in the future. But at this point, I am happy that I decided and put together this video. Hopefully it will be helpful to you for you guys. All right. I think, um, thank you once again, everybody in the chat. If you have any questions, I will wait a few, uh, in, in a few moments here to see if anybody has any questions. Uh, other than that, uh, I will be finishing up soon so that I can uh, put together a newsletter for you guys and you can have the checklist in the email inbox. Let me see. All right, I don't see any more uh, comments or questions from you guys. And I really, really appreciate you being here. I'm always super excited to catch everyone live. And I'm hopefully I will uh, see you guys uh, pretty soon in the next video. All right, guys, uh, thank you for being here. Bye-bye. Uh,